we've got a new product for our winter well camping stove so if you want to see what it's like then please stick around Welcome back everybody to another review so after messing around my winter well uh, camping stove did several burns I think I've done a total of five or six burns in it now just getting used to it trying different things out I one of the things that kind of irritated me about it is it's so low to the ground um, I mean you know it's like really low to the ground so when I seen they had these extension legs for the Nomad series medium or large stove I said yeah why not I'm gonna get them I'm gonna try them if I don't like them I'll just send them back well here they are and I haven't even put them on the stove yet all I did was cut the tape here to get them out oh you know what let me let you take a nice look at the box what am I thinking there's a the UPC nope. and they are stainless steel just like the uh, the winter well stove they give you some nice specs there so the original height is 5.5 inches and you can there's two different positions here so that's pretty cool. Okay. Let's get these guys out of the box and take a look at them. And all I've done previously is I just cut the tape on the box here. I haven't even tried them out. And they're still zip tied together. So. Let me just uh, get in here and see if I can cut that zip tie without slicing myself. There we go. All right. All right. Okay. So it looks like they got the nut tack welded on the inside of that leg those brackets hmm there's our thumb screws all right so four thumb screws four legs for the opposite brackets hmm has stamped right on there 304 so 304 grade stainless steel well let me go get the winter well stove and uh, let's see how hard these are to put on I have my winter well stove here setting upright and I got the legs out here so you can see this because when you turn the legs here you'll see there's like an inner channel right here and these fit inside this inner channel check that out so you can mount it anywhere in this hole or anywhere in this hole for the maximum height so this guy goes on like that put a thumb screw in here if I can get it in there there we go and I'm imagining that that's as right where they want it up against that and 
And it's got a little bit of side to side action there. <clears throat> okay. So that would be how they, they go ahead and mount. You can either mount it in this hole or like we did in the bottom hole for maximum height. I'm going to go ahead and put the rest of them on, set it upright so we can uh, see the difference. We have the legs on here. Everything's assembled. She's standing upright. I'm going to give you a nice little view of that. I mean, look at that. She's got legs. I feel like I should be playing that ZZ Top song right now. And if you don't know that ZZ Top song, I just, just got to say I'm sorry. I'm very sorry for you. Anyway, let's measure and see what kind of height we're getting to the bottom of the stove. And it looks like just under 10 and a half inches, just under. Wow, that's higher than I think they said in the box. Let me uh, double check. Nope, they said 10.6 inches in position two. That's the highest position. And that's where we got it. So uh, yeah, looks good. That gives you a lot more clearance. So, cause I, when I was doing my burns, I kept noticing any of the area under here, underneath the stove, it was putting out just as much heat through the bottom of the stove as it was through the top. And uh, it was getting stupid hot. And I was like, man, if I do this, you know, on bare ground, I gotta make sure that I put something down here that I don't start a, you know, a fire just from the radiating heat. But I think those legs will work out great. And one of the nice things is I was feeling all along the edges of these uh, extension legs. There's no sharp edges. Not like there was on the Winterwell stove itself, those legs. These ones, seems like they actually took the time to finish them correctly. Um, another thing. Let me pan up here, show you what I'm talking about. If you go in here and go in the stove itself, so they all fit in this box, right? We could, I'm pretty sure, let's see here. Oh, yeah. I think, let me see. Yeah, look, that box starts to fit inside one of the stove pipes. So I could put all the parts for the legs back in this box and shove it inside one of these stove pipes so it'll be available inside the stove with all the other accessories. So, wow. <sighs> so that's all the positive. Let's talk about the negative. Because we've made this, put this up higher, um, we put our center of gravity up higher too. Um, it seems to be very stable. It doesn't seem like we're going to be able to knock it over easily. But if you were not careful, if you weren't paying attention, yeah, I could see where you could physically knock this over and it would be a problem. Uh, other downside to these is for each leg you got three parts. You got the extension leg, you got this uh, this formed metal piece, and you got a thumb screw. If you lose any of these three pieces, you're effectively out of a leg. That's not good. Um, and they didn't give you no extra, like not even one extra thumb screw, which would have been nice. So, yeah, lose any of these pieces, you're out legs. But overall, I'm, I'm impressed, I like it. They're very sturdy once you tighten these, once you tighten these down, it's very sturdy. There's no, there's no play there at all, which I like, which tells me that this is gonna work out. Gets it up higher off the ground, so I'm not bending over so much when I go to feed logs into this Heck yeah. Well, initial impression, because this is an initial review, the real review is going to come when I actually use it. 
but the initial review is very positive. I like this. I think it's going to work. So for now, I'm going to give it a thumbs up. After we get some more snow here, uh, right now I only have like maybe an inch, inch and a half on the ground, which isn't very much. I'd like to get like five or six inches on the ground, and then I'd like to take my hot tent and this stove and uh, do some hot tent camping and take you guys with me. And then that's when all this stuff really comes into play. So until then, I'll see you all later out in the woods and I give the Winterwell extension legs a thumbs up.